can take, which I came in to make a large difference. And um, I want to challenge the council, as they are seen as the leaders of communities, um, to start displaying an image of proactive um, climate change response. And as um, as the council um, as the council becomes a sort of beacon of action against climate change, you're going to see more community members um, developing their own actions against climate change. And that could look like the council um, uh, creating policies to disallow the use of, um, of any um, plastics aside from one or two within um, takeaway shops or um, other shops along the street. And it could also look like um, providing more funding and less taxation towards um, people looking towards transferring to um, alternative energy and um, electric vehicles. Thank you. Yeah. So do you want to make a good point? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to share a few things across the world. He's the, he's the man of the hour. Um, but we brought these posters here, which uh, we didn't make. They were made by a group of beautiful young students that I put up. And uh, we brought them here uh, with the intention of like a silent protest. We didn't necessarily expect to have a, a chance to stand up and speak to you, but we're glad that you uh, gave us this opportunity. And anyway, yeah, we just uh, we brought these signs to communicate um, communicate the our quarter's views on the um, on the on the on the issue we're uh, presented with today. And uh, I'm just happy you uh, have uh, the opportunity to come here and see see how this works. All right, so um, just for the record, we need to have your names. If you just need to say them now or, or just tell Asia or Melissa, you just write them down. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for your presentation. And, uh, I, I don't class as a protest, they're not protesting. I, I think you are relaying the message and yep. it's all about partnership. Well done. Together. Yeah. Yeah. Now, unless uh, somebody's got something that's really it important. Is, it is really important. Right. Right. Because it always comes down to who pays. Yes. So my point that hasn't been raised as well when it comes to being zero carbon, if we are expecting our residents and ratepayers to be having a financial contribution um, in terms of allowing for that, for example, agriculture, right. um, which is actually a backbone of this, our district in terms of the way that we receive our income, which is rates, and which is huge because of the way that we currently rate, being land-based rating. Um, so I think in terms of how this motion is currently read, if there was an E included, um, which would look at any financial implications of this to our residents and rate payers, as well as to the council. Well, I'm happy to include yeah. that in. Um, I just don't want to be going into this blind because I, I, I wouldn't sign up for anything. I want to be practical about this. Thanks, Lance. 